This evening, Roy's been parachuted in as a troubleshooter to sort out the fox problem on this deer park in Kent. The foxes haven't been hit for more than 12 months and they're being spotted by the deer manager on a daily basis, which makes him nervous. They're also making a right old racket at night. When they are calling and when they're so transfixed on mating, it is very, very difficult to call them in sometimes. Uh, we've got a few different calls that we're going to try and we'll see how we get on. The main objective tonight is to try and get on top of the foxes, make a bit of an impact. We'll probably have another go in a couple of weeks' time as well after the main uh, part of the breeding season and hopefully they'll be a bit more responsive to the calls. Obviously, if you've got a very high density of foxes in a, in a deer park, when you've got all the fawns appearing, then they can, uh, in the first few days, make a bit of an impact on them. So we definitely need to try and uh, get on top now. Roy is used to managing foxes among herds of deer and parks with footpaths. It pays to double and triple check what is in your crosshairs. We're using the Guide IR510 from Thomas Jacks tonight to scan and film through. We definitely know there are bodies out there, but we're interested in the red fluffy ones, and Roy needs the scope for that one. We soon find our first Charlie of the evening. Filmed through the thermal, Roy drops it where it stands. We were concentrating on a fox that was in front of us and the one that we'd seen a little bit earlier decided to sneak round and we're just sitting watching us on the top of the bank there so that was first one in, that's quite good and hopefully it'll be the first of many. Massive, massive vixen as well, really nice and plump, uh, lovely condition, nice, very nice. She's definitely uh, in her latter years anyway. Roy is going to be using all sorts of calls tonight, mouth and electronic. With the hormones racing, he's not exactly sure what's going to make the difference. Stop it. No squeaking with that one, that was just running off. We saw that in the lamp and it started to go. And uh, luckily before uh, he got too high up and we still had a safe backdrop, just managed to squeeze that one off. Uh, there's a lot of foxes here. So I think this could be quite a good night. A very pretty little vixen. Run, big vixen. This fox runs to the electronic call, but then turns and heads off, giving us no chance. Now, not all of Roy's setup is orthodox. He asks David to bring a sandbag to rest the rifle stock on top of the UTV, but he was short of time, so has come up with a quick solution which he's very proud of. You're very proud of your rest, aren't you, David? I wanted you to properly fill a shooting rest. In literally 30 seconds, it was. <laughs> Bob on. Bob on. Otherwise I've been there for hours. Roy thinks the ground is holding between 20 to 30 foxes, but there's one dog fox less after this shot under the branches. It runs, but Roy is confident he's killed it. To help us out, Roy gives Andy the thermal and 30 yards over the brow of the hill, he finds our dog fox. So that one ran on a little bit, and if we've been doing it normally, then from what I saw in the scope, and where he ran, I'd have got it completely wrong and we probably wouldn't have been able to pick it up tonight and we would have picked around to uh, come back and have a look in the morning. But we had the, uh, the thermal and Andy just uh, took it up there and just had a quick scan about over the bank and spotted it immediately, saw all the detail and was able to go and retrieve it straight away. So yeah, I mean they are just brilliant, brilliant bits of kit. It's amazing what you can see with them. And uh, when, you, when you've got the call going as well, you can just scan with this and uh, pick up the heat signatures as they come running in as well. So yeah, they, uh, they really have got fantastic potential for foxing. In the bracken, we would have struggled to find it, but the guide has avoided Roy getting a lot of grief from the rest of the party. Roy accounts for one more before calling it a night. Not a bad night. Uh, so three vixens and one dog fox, and they are in immaculate condition as well. Absolutely superb. They're, uh, a diet of uh, venison and rabbit obviously does them well. So tonight three very healthy bushy vixens and a bruiser dog fox have all been taken out of the breeding programme. David's got a new business idea and Roy's reputation remains intact thanks to some thermal investigation.